Good morning. This is Robert Fultz, and I'm calling. I'm doing this from a very cold Saturday morning in North Carolina. Saturday's our house cleaning day, so if you hear a little noise in the background, it's uh, Rosie, our uh, robot vacuum cleaner. So what do you do with a document that says the 20th Sunday after the Trinity? This is the Smithfield book again. And here's page, uh, actually, it's page uh, 38. Uh, that's probably, the actual German is probably page 37. And it says, uh, the co confirms who I instructed at the home of Nicholas Sh uh, Shaw, who was a key figure in this, and actually a family member of mine, senior for six, uh, six weeks, three days each week, were confirmed on the 20th of October, 1792, in the Steins Church. Steins Church is also known as the Union Church, I believe. Uh, the others, however, come to Holy Communion, which was received on the 20th Sunday after the Trinity. Uh, their names are also written down. Okay, so what do you do with the 20th Sunday after Trinity? Now, this is where a little bit of uh, your Sunday school would help. Uh, didn't help me a lot because I couldn't remember. I could remember Trinity, but I couldn't remember how to calculate this. And that's not the only one. Here's more. Uh, received the same. This is the held on the third Sunday of Advent and so on. So what do you do with this? Well, what I do with this is I do a Google search. And what I did was I came up with the 20th Sunday after Trinity uh, right here in this Google search. And when you open this up, you get this document, Alan Korn. And first, I, I went to the bottom of the document so I could be sure and give him credit for, for what he's done here. Uh, first off, there, from the bottom up, he's listed all the Easter Sundays by year, which is really nice. And then he's listed where you can get your calendars. And of course, we're only interested in the U.S. So here's the U.S. calendar down here. And then he's giving you this nice little worksheet to take and do, do your calculations. And then he's giving you all these options about the various Sundays and how to calculate them. And uh, so it's a very useful uh, document. Uh, on his sheet, he gives you the year, how to take and find the calendar for the year, and so on. So how do you do calculate the 20th of, of this? Well, let's me get my crib sheet up here. The 20th Sunday after the Trinity in 1792. Easter is on the 8th of April. Okay. <coughs> Oops, sorry about that. A little clogged up this morning. So here it is, 1792, 92, 92. 8th of April right there, okay? So you go to 1790, oops, uh, you want 92. Put that in here. And say show. And it comes up with the 1792. Now that was April 8th. Now, according to his chart, the Trinity occurs the 8th Sunday after Easter, and now we want the 20th Sunday. So we've got to do 28 days from the 8th Sunday. So we do the 8th Sunday of April, which is here. And you count 28 days. And if I did it right, that comes out the 21st of October. So anyway, I collected all the, the ones that are in the Smithfield Register and did all of them here. There's also another equation for March. It has to do with the 13th day. Advent always begins on the nearest Sunday to the 13th day of November, whether before or after the 13th. Uh, the before or after is key. Now, this is where Advent starts, and they're talking about the Sundays of Advent. So, And, and in the Trinity, they're talking about the Sundays after. It's kind of tricky there. So this will be included in the in the the uh, thing uh, in the uh, 
uh, notes down below. So you can take and just click on the URLs and go directly to it. And you won't have to do the search that I have. So thank you for your time. Uh, this is how the, these are the conclusions I've come up with. If I'm not correct, uh, uh, you know, please uh, drop me an email and tell me uh, tell me how to correct it. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done it, and uh, I'm not certain I really know what I'm doing. So, anyway.